Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dharma SEO Questions, episode 437. I, uh, you guys didn't notice I sent out the invitations for episode 237 by accident tonight. Anyway, 437. With us tonight, we have uh, Tim Kappa. No, that's, that's, I forgot to say something else. Each week we meet here to um, review the uh, questions and answers given on the Dumb uh, SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, with us tonight we have Tim Kappa. Uh, Tim is CEO of OnlineOwnership.com. And uh, he is um, a Google product expert in the Google My Business community and he's based in Corby, about 100 miles north of London. David Razan, uh, he is based in West Sussex, um, in the sunny south of the UK. And uh, David uh, is a leading internet marketer. As you can see by his T-shirt, you see, see David's T-shirt, uh, Anyway, here we are, um, and Masataki Wasa is webmaster of wasaweb.net. You can find David at davidrosam at davidrosam.com. Um, no? <laughs> that's, that's yes, that's my name. name. <laughs> Thank I'll stop my books anyway. <laughs> Mazadagi Waza is a webmaster of wasaweb.net. He's a Google product expert in the AdSense uh, community. Um, he is based in Wimbledon, uh, the southeast of London. Would it, be, would it be southeast of London? No. Oh. Um. Okay, so we have nine questions tonight. Um, let's have a look at them. Um, let me see. Uh, you think I was drunk? What am I doing wrong here? Too much caffeine. Here we go. All right, our um, first question is titled Yay or Nay to Keeping This Sticky Head of Men Menu. It's from Albert Keto. Um, he goes on to ask uh, Yay or Nay to Keeping This Sticky Head of Menu as Services and Pricing. It feels like a mouthful, but the likelihood of clicking would increase as everyone loves window shopping. Uh, and loves checking out the price uh, even more. Can I say nay then? Uh, because uh, I would expect separate uh, se separate menu uh, items for services and pricing. Um, if I want pricing, I expect to see pricing. If I want services, I expect to see services. So um, it would it would make me a bit confused, and I don't like being confused on the web. Um, so that would be my my two penneth. Thank you, David. Anybody else? Right, we'll wrap that one. Let's go to number two on our own list from Mari Sa. Um, it's titled, Is There a Rule with the Length of URLs? Um, she said, I am working on a large site that has multiple section downlines, which is creating long URLs. I see Michael Martinez has. Uh, said uh, try not to exceed 1,024 characters. That would be a very long line indeed. 
But that would seem to imply that you can, if you so desire, uh, to have it to, to allow it to go longer than that. What, what's the? I, I didn't know the answer to this, but uh, you can you can let you can your URL can be flipping as long as you want it to be. Yes, that's what I thought. Um, but you know, ideally for a um, like, do we have an example of what she's talking about? It's like, is she creating a humongous product called Winter Posy? Winter Posies on a micro dress something or other you know is she is Pink, she fluffy elephant. yeah is she creating a the url out of like a massively long title or something like like i'm not I sure it, but i am interested to know what, why you'd be thinking of winter posies i don't know mate <laughs> shall we send him one <laughs> send me one <laughs> But only if it's got okay. a very, very long name. Well, we, would it be fair to sum this up as uh, um, there is no rule, but uh, as Michael Martin has said, try not to exceed 1,024 characters. And really, then just imagine what a 1,024 character um, line would be. How, how big would it be? It would be a veritably short, a veritable short story. It would. It's true. <laughs> okay. Um, so will we call that a a, a lock for this one? Okay. Ah, forgot to click that button. Damn. Okay, um, this one is uh, it's titled uh, "We Saw a Surge of Traffic." Um, another one from El Bakito, and he said, uh, "Guys, I updated this uh, e-commerce site uh, without any backlinks um, in e-com directories. Uh, some didn't even make sense to me, to be honest. Uh, we still did it, as I wasn't overseeing the project." Uh, we saw a surge uh, of traffic from uh, 250 to 900 in about two to three months' time. Also did a, 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 a thorough, um, would it be ordered, on the page as well. Uh, question, why did we experience such a boom in traffic? Um, little context from other marketing efforts, we have zero social media and PR exposure, so that's not it. Um, the uh, reasons uh, that I'm asking, I don't want Google to bite me back in the butt a couple of months later. So the more I understand, the better. Um, my two cents on the matter, competition has a lot of backlinks from spammy uh, private blog net network uh, sites. Uh, could it be that when we, being the lesser of uh, all the evil in the niche, got us the boost uh, as we um, weren't deceiving anyone or violating the spam link purchase update. What I did, I added my site to a bunch of e-commerce directories. So, like, how can we possibly know what you did over those months? So you just add it to some e-com directories and what else? Like, how do you even think it was the e-com directory? Like, have they even been found in terms of uh, by Googlebot, the, 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 these, these directory lists? Like, how can... And the other, the other thing that winds me up then is, like, you're doing stuff, but you don't know if it'll have any impact are you charging someone for this or is this his own site i think it's his own site um 
Um, and, and the other flip side is, is he's just throwing shit, like stuff to a wall and hoping it sticks. Like, it, that just winds me up. It's like I chucked a couple of links on there. And then, you know, you've done like literally what have you done within those two months? And then now you expect it's a couple of directory links. Mm, well, to be fair, he has, uh, as you know, um, um, asked many, many questions uh, of, of our panel. And um, to be fair, I think he's followed uh, all of the, the, the advice he's been yeah. given. So, so I go back to that. Like, why even start with, I think it was some directory links? Yeah, true. Look, and, and that's what I'm trying to say. I, honest to God, do not think some increase in traffic is from some directory links. If you want to see if it was an increase in traffic from directory links, go look into your analytics, go down to your refer source referrals and see if you got any traffic from them. Yeah. I'm not sure that we have enough information here. Uh, to make any sensible comment. Um, it's, you know, maybe there was a, a Google update during that period. And for some reason, something about your, your website uh, made you go up in the rankings. Um, you know, it's, you know, pick, pick a, pick a likely thing and say maybe that um i'm sorry we're not being helpful but there did he add any no. decent content you know did he do any interlinking you know there's so much did he pick one subject and interlink through and create a nice decent silo on a particular thing has his ranking actually improved in a particular section that he's worked on could that be attributed to an increase in traffic i mean a couple of direct links, go and check your source referral, but no, honestly. Yeah, and what worries me slightly about this is that um, is looking at, um, at the competition and seems to be led by um, what the competition is doing. So that he's defining what he wants to do or doesn't want to do against what the competition is doing instead of looking at his own side and concentrating on what can be done for the site. Thank you, Mesa. All right, let's uh, roll on to number, number four on our run list is from Sheikha Shukla. It's titled, What Could Be a Solution for Duplicate and Long Titles? Um, a long title of article pages, which are taken automatically in WordPress by the Yoast uh, uh, plugin. We can't optimize a particular page as there are 1,000 pages. I think that's what uh, LAK8 means. It doesn't, it doesn't matter about the length of the title. I mean, if you can... I mean, if you've written a dramatically long title for the article and you can't shorten it in any way, shape or form, fair dues, you know, that is you're going to be your title. You can also, you know, before you publish, actually go in and edit the actual URL to actually remove the is the and, and you can, you can shorten the URL, but your title, you know, if you can't shorten it before you publish, that's going to be your title that also becomes the, the the meta title it if 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 you know some tool that you're using keeps telling you you they too long stuff it it doesn't make a jot of bloody difference yeah i mean what interests me is not the long titles it's the duplicate why are there duplicate titles ah because <laughs> Because the title of your thing, right, in some WordPress, so the, tit the title of the article becomes the meta title if you haven't added on uh, your site title. So 
the article of the title is Humpty Dumpty fell off a wall, right? Then it start becomes the H1 on the page, Humpty Dumpty fell off, fell off a wall. So these things flag it going, you've got duplicate title and H1s. Ah, I see. Right. Uh, which again is a, is a load of bullshit um, for these tools because these tools are just created in that sense. Uh, the way, like, if you don't want this flagged, just you know, you should have your actual site title appended to the end of your article titles um, because it's, it's just good for branding anyway, uh, and that will resolve that. But it 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 means nothing means nothing and i think i think one last thing uh stockbridge says um so it says that uh, you can of course override what yoast is is doing and we've said this quite a few times before that uh, you shouldn't let yoast run uh roughshod all over your website um it does all sorts of things that we as a panel have complained about over time uh such as having uh having traffic lights uh and focusing on one key phrase per page and lots of evils um only use yoast if you understand what it's doing and how you can make it do more sensible things thank you david and moving right along, uh, let's um, go to number five on our run list. This one from Jason Wells. Uh, it's titled a single product, comma, grouped product or variable product. Uh, Jason goes on to ask, um, hi, guys, quick question. Um, for e-commerce search engine optimization purposes, um, what is better? A single product, group product, or variable product. Given that my product has these options, uh, devices, um, 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever that means, and uh, years, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, what? <laughs> I see um, Michael Martin has also asked the same question. I suppose you could buy one, three, five, ten, fifteen, or twenty of the devices uh, with a, let's say, guarantee of one, two, or three years or something like that. I don't know. I mean, it, it really depends on the product, doesn't it? <laughs> But if it's something like that, so let's say, you know, um, it's a device that some people might buy multiples of, um, and you, know, you want to attach a guarantee to it, um, then I would let people choose the combination that they want. Thank you, Mr. And I think if there are no objections, we'll call that an answer for um, Jason. Okay, let's go to the next. Martine Arrain uh, wants to revive an expired uh, domain. Um, goes on to say, um, and increase the domain authority back to what it was uh, and then convert it into an affiliate site in the same niche. When using the Wayback Machine to view the old website on an expired domain, should I copy the code exactly or, or do I just need to replicate the navigation structure and copy the content, H tags, text images, onto the URLs with backlinks. Um, uh, 
Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure um, I should laugh at this, but you know, you have heard of copyright, haven't you? Seen? This might be an expired domain, but uh, the content on it is still likely to be uh, owned. The content of the content on it is still likely to be owned by someone or a company. Um, if you're going to go to all the bother of doing this, um, I wouldn't like to have um, all the problems as uh, as the copyright holder decides to um, take you to court over this. Um, so I think this. I'm, I, I'm really not sure I like the, the thinking at all behind this. You've got, you want to revive an expired domain. Um, you, uh, ask yourself why it's expired. You know, did it, did it not work for the previous occupant, the previous owner, the previous renter of the domain? Um, increase the, the, the DA back to what it was. Um, so you think just by replicating it, um, it will be as um, as successful as it was when the previous owner gave up on it. Um, it's. I think you're. I think you're going to cause yourself a lot of problems one way or another here, um, either by wasting a lot of time. Uh, or getting yourself into uh, legal poo. Um, I would stop wanting to revive that expired domain if I were you. Thank you, David. I think there's some good advice uh, there on the uh, Damasio Questions Facebook group from Christine Hansen and Michael Martinez. And also Rienzi Mosqueda. Okay, we move on to the next one. I'm going to record that as a yes. Number seven on our run list is from George Lesko. He said, can I, my, can I expect my site to rank higher after some years? I think that's a fair question. I'm glad somebody not asking for uh, to, to rank tonight. Um, he said, I run a small business with my website and I started uh, the uh, search engine optimization in the third month of 2020. The site started to rank higher around summer, and I've got more like the same amount of clicks since. I checked my main competitor's site, and he had similar numbers for the first two years, and suddenly he got four times more traffic on site, um, according to SEMrush. I think my site is better optimised uh, than his website. Um, is it that much important that his website is several years older than mine? Can I expect my site to be ranking higher after some years? Thank you. There are several things here. Um, let's say, let's take the, can I expect my site to rank higher after some years? No, um, just because it's old doesn't mean that it will be ranked higher. Um, you've got more years to work upon your your website to fill it with some good quality content um, to uh, to make sure that it's performing well technically. Uh, basically, spend your time improving your website, not sitting around waiting for it to improve. If that's <coughs> excuse me, if that's what uh, you, you mean by, can I expect my site to rank higher after some years? Um, it, so therefore it's not important that his website is several years older than mine, except for the fact that he's had several years more to, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, to improve his site. Um, and I suspect he got four more, more 
uh, four times more traffic to his site um, by doing the right things and improving his site. Uh, whether his site is better, whether your site is better optimized than his web website is uh, a moot point. Um, you'd have to do a, um, a site audit on both to, to work that one out. Um, but I would expect that he's just been spending more time improving his website uh, than you have, to be blunt. Thank you, David. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, let's um, move along to number eight on our run list. Um, Mandy Shug asked a question. It's title, I, I, I just read that using click here is a killer for search engine optimization. Um, is there a list of what is better? Um, where the hell did you read that? Um, <laughs> um, are, are we, are we talk, talking about search engine optimization? Well, yeah, I think rate what she's read, or what? What she, I think what she's read is about interlinking. What, and, and I think if she's looking at e-commerce with products and it goes click here, she's assuming that that click here is like not great for interlinking well it's typically not but off product pages to expand it or to click into the actual product that's just the standard google understands this your interlinking should be at off content pages and if your content pages are like on a guide to the anti-rotational phillips head screw you want to you want to interlink the anti-rotational Phillips screw text to the anti-rotational Phillips screw. You don't want to then go uh, click here, you know. So click here is the standard. It's a norm on all your you know category pages, e-commerce where you land on something and you need to do that. That's fine, perfectly acceptable. It's neither here nor there. I think what she read was something to do with with actually like interlinking um yeah. uh, and i think that's what she's read and she's mistaken it for just a product page landing page where it goes click here click here click here or read more read more read you know what i mean like um so yeah i, I, I yeah. think that's where she's coming from but yeah yeah m maybe maybe I, I i was as i say i was thinking about um conversion rate optimization perhaps um and whether you know click here is gonna outperform um click here to get a a large yellow sausage or something you know? yeah or <laughs> or so, like i think at the end of the day it should be what's applicable if it's a product you can say view product or if it's an article you can say read more or sign up or but yeah. interlinking within your like you know between pages you should ideally use sort of you know uh, anchor text but it's not going to break the bank no um no it's and, and this there's also the argument about well click here yeah we've all been using the internet for a while now so we know what to do this this blue underlined stuff you you click there, um, but you know if we are talking about that not linking, then you know you can always do some A B uh, comparisons and find out what your your customers actually will want to do. Thank you, David. Thank you. A killer, you know, I th I think it's a you know, it might be a little bit here and there, you know, to be gained or lost, but I don't, don't think it's a killer. Thank you, David. All right, thank you, David, thank you, Tim. And let's go to number nine on our run list. This is from Todd Wise, and 
It's titled, What is the Current Relationship Between Ads and Organic Results? Um, what is the current... Uh, and then, then it, it goes on between ads and organic results on search engine results pages. I've had my head in the development world more than search engine optimization over the last few years. So I am not up to date on stuff like uh, each page will have X number of results and Y number of ads. I know that old Googs has added new results uh, types and uh, such just based on my own research experiences. Um, I've got a client who has uh, an O-R-M, O-R-M, guys, what's that, what's that short for? O-R-M. Anyway, an issue with one of their employees and some negative results. Uh, oh, um, what would be uh, resource management? Um, Occupational. Um, well, it's it's reputation management, but I don't know what the O is. Uh -huh. All right. Online. Besides trying to develop some more positive light content, um, could um, and um, could an ad campaign help push down? um and those more negative results and we are indebted to michael martinez uh, who said quite specifically for ads in searching the result pages don't have any effect on the organic listing and vice versa except to uh, push the uh, organic uh, <laughs> rankings down the organic re results down a bit um which jolly yeah it pushes it down it doesn't push them off the page ideally you want to push them off page one don't you yeah you know and that's the thing well, so what i was going on to say yeah that uh good old google does different things for different searches and sometimes there's a lot of clutter at the top of pages and sometimes there isn't um so yeah uh, it seems to me that going down the ad route could be a very expensive way of trying to uh, trying to bury some of these results. Um, I think you're going to, you know, you're going to have to develop some more positive like content in the long run. I'm guessing. Look, if 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 it was an employee that put some stuff so he's probably gone to glass store or something and said they're a shit employer so now when you search for the brand you get the brand name glass door um saying that they're a shit employee uh employer stuff like that or these guys ripped me off i think what you've got to do is so first off what is the search query that they're targeting is it just the brand name right so if it's a brand name, you obviously don't have a lot of brand queries out there. Um, so like in, in your search result, if you don't have any sort of brand informational stuff out there, uh, if they search your brand name, it in theory should be, you know, your entire page should be taken up just with your kind of brand. Um, if they have got stuff appearing for that brand name in there, start looking at, uh, some social media uh, because that will just be your brand name like Facebook Facebook should appear on you for your brand name underneath your main domain um, look at some advertorial kind of stuff right if you're going to pay for ads why don't when you go pay for an advertorial so um, find any specific kind of uh, magazines online magazines publications uh, in your niche and hit them up for an advertorial. So it'll be your brand name, XYZ, and it'll be a, a, a thing of the company, 
right? Um, so, you know, we're not, you know, hit them up for an advertorial. Um, yeah, sure, you pay, but it's going to drop something, you know. Um, Freaking hit two up, three up. Um, social media is your brand name. That'll be appearing. Um, have you got any of your own kind of uh, uh, press? Any of uh, your own kind of news? Can you do some of your own kind of content going brand name uh, launches new product line and then just create a blog article, brand name, brand name, brand name being you. Uh, hey, check out our new product line. Yeah, you know, bomb, bomb, bomb. Um, that may or may not hit the first page, but it could quite possibly, you know, be building up and push that down. Um, advertorials, social media. If you really want to go down the road, uh, you can do a couple of uh, Web 2.0, um, like uh, fucking a free Wix site with your brand name. <laughs> That'll appear. Do you, you, you see what I mean? Like, if you really want to just push them down off the front page, um, it all depends, you know. If it's about a particular product plus brand name, well, then look at some content product plus brand name. Um, there, yeah, yeah, this, there, there, this, yeah, but ads is just going to keep it on the first page. It's just going to push it below the fold, but it will still be on the first page. What you want is there's 10 queries. You should already be taking up at least, like, even if you, you know, you're not that hot, you should be taking up at least five of those queries with your, you know, a couple of bits. And then let's say they want to say, you, you know, you've got, you've got to, you've got to do a little bit of hustling there, but you know, it's, it's kind of doable. Uh, but when you're doing these kind of things, don't really, really go into it in terms of links. Yeah. You've got to be on brand name, brand name, brand name, or whatever brand name. We, we don't really want, you know, Google looking at you going, is this guy doing some dodgy link building? What all you're doing is you just brand name blah, the content, brand name the content, brand name the content. Yeah, that's what you want appearing. Don't don't be linking because that could look a little bit weird uh, in Google's eyes in terms of links. But at least you're pushing the crap down. Um, do we have any more? Okay, if there are no, no further items of general business, um, it's that time. It's thank you for watching time. Can't go without um, thanking um, people like Michael Martinez and Christine Hansen, um, people who, uh, um, per Perry Bernard, uh, people who uh, answer questions through the week and, and make uh, MSCI questions such a, a valuable resource. And of course, you guys who um, every week you front up and uh, you uh, carefully uh, analyze the, the, the questions and answers given um, on, on the WCA Questions Facebook group. Um, we'll be back at the same time next week uh, to do this all again. But for now, it's um, good night. I just have to figure out which button to click, I think it's this one.